And so, as a three-year-old, I had to use the bathroom. I won't use the toilet. You can't make me. Wait a minute. Why is Skid so tall? How did that not blow that up? Unsatisfying. Sorry, I get kind of carried away. Jesus, Jesus is just so, is so awesome. awesome. We're going. Look at this. No spoilers. What's up, gamers? My name is Simba. And welcome to... So I don't know if y'all have noticed, but the games I play on my channel generally are... Classic. And when I play a newer game, they generally don't perform very well. So yeah, here's Ratchet and Clank. It's so retro. Okay, first things first. Options. Look at that options menu, baby. Yeah. Language French. Duh. Uh. Who do you think we are? We 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 we. Um. Okay. Look. That's smart. Music volume low. Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah, new game. Why the freak are there three of the same ones? Oh, by the way, as I was opening up the case, I saw, I'm gonna start crying. Early access demo. The Sly Cooper Thieves in Time also includes Ratchet and Clank 10th anniversary avatar. Those days are gone, gamers. But we can live it now. What what did you face face? This is an epic case. Like, uh, that reminds me, if you haven't seen the Sly Cooper finale yet, go watch it, even if it's just for the five minute tribute at the very end, that that will make you emotional if you, if you grew up with these games. Bro, he is drilling something. Kiesel Plateau, Planet Velden, 1113 something. Man! Ah! Sorry. Ah! He's beautiful. Look at him. So majestic. Final so. step. Attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Approaching Planet Felden, 11.47 a.m. local time. No! Collect! Actually, this is good. <laughs> this is how they meet. Woo! Dang. All right, so. Welcome oh. to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Can't hear her at all. Let's just let's just lower that down to there. Oh, I'm so excited, gamers. Let's freaking go! Ah, look at that quark. It's so clunky. I love it. Give me the bolts. Give me the give me the give me the bolts. How in the world are the first first? How in the world are the first bolts I collect on my channel collected in Sly Cooper? You don't know what I'm talking about? Go watch the finale to Sly Cooper. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold your hand the entire time and play clips. It's so sluggish. It's so sluggish. I'm I'm surprised at how sluggish it is to be honest with you. But it's okay. It's to be expected from a 22 year old game. Ah. Well. That's a quarter of my health gone from a frog. One thing I like about Ratchet and Clank games is that they still make them. And there's a billion of them. Like Insomniac, 
Also, they're the ones who make Spider-Man, by the way. The Spider-Man games. And they're making the Wolverine game coming out. You oh! Just oh, it feels good. They rebuild your body? That's pretty cool. I don't think I knew that lore. Whee! Throw it! And the throw it! Again. Can you not throw it in the air? You can, also use it in first person. You can but you can't double jump. Shut up! Eat a bomb! Ah, oh, man. Catch this grenade. Catch this grenade. And this... Oh. Catch this one. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, Clank, how's it going, man? You look hurt. Poor little guy. I shall fix him. Pew, pew, boom, boom, boom. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? <laughs> well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... Uh, hello. I'm gonna have to turn this up because it's quiet. My the blog have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell Why? here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, <laughs> we will be extracting Love a large form. portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Oh, turn it off, you idiot! Relatable. The people on those planets are hosed. <laughs> well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. Mm. Dang. Shoot. Good thing we found a robot. System. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you nice to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Time to go. Deal. Chairman Drex, flagship, Velden Orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. Come on, Sorry. Ratchet. Oh, and by the way, He's no Anakin stop Skywalker. calling me, sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. <laughs> Hang on. Back on Chairman Drek's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous. I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just None. see what Captain Quark has to say about that. You old man. man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat. My you goodness. Puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere of Planet Novalis. Yeah, I'm keeping it up. The whole series. 
They're okay. Oh, oh. Oh, Clank? Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Let's go! Alright, first things first, we're going up here. In, up, in this, in this cave. The bat cave. Ah, don't fall. Ah, so scary. Woo! What the, what the beeswax? Oh, hello, and sir. Blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? <laughs> I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Remember this News man. Flash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, Working got anything people. worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. Coordinates? Let's see Ratchet. We could use that. <laughs> uh, 500 bolts. How about we just murder you? Just kidding. That would be Enter regrettable. Mode. Press and hold the L1 button. I will use this 0% of the time. All right, bro. I'll take it. 500 bolts. Thank you, plumber's crack. Back. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Maybe. What's it to you? Mayday, mayday! This My is the man. solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! <laughs> kid, let's M-scream! Eject! Eject! M-scram? M-ram? Did you what? see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? The I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridium, you'll need to find a ship to get there. Yes, ma'am! So I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but the voice actor for Ratchet in this game is completely different than all the others. They completely ditch this guy after this game and then stick with one actor after this. Hey, I'm right now back. All right, baby. We going back through here, baby. Oh, wow, you can move these. Nice. You better be holding your breath, too. I can see you. <gasps> Man, did you? Gamers, this is the very first Bolt crank on the channel. Here we go. Woo! It doesn't have the noise though, so we're gonna have to wait for the noise. Oh, a shroom. Oh, hello guys. How's it going? Ah! I'm just trying to break mushrooms, man. Freaking jerk. Come here, boo! Boo? I don't even know what I was trying to say. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? <sighs> oh. It wasn't that bad. Oh, don't fall. I'd like to hear if you guys have played this game before. Also, when you played it, and how old you were. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Taylor. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, gold bolt. Does he have magical powers? What's the lore behind him making that thing disappear? What's the lore behind him making everything disappear and reappear? Is Ratchet magic? And we're back out! Yeah! Wait, what was the point of that? Just for bolts, I guess? Okay, well here's this map, by the way. I'll show all of them. Tobruk Crater, Planet Novalis. View missions. Find a new ship. Alright, let's go, gamers. I actually have a story to tell you guys. It's both awesome and embarrassing. So back when I was a little baby, I was like three. Or Two, I don't know. Ratchet and Clank was brand new. Hey, yo, chill, Mr. B. Ah, B! Anyways, we were, my brother and I were being babysat. We were over at the babysitter's house and their kid actually had Ratchet and Clank. It was the, literally the only one out at the time. Imagine a world where Ratchet and Clank, the first one is the only Ratchet and Clank that's out. What? Now there's like 14 games. Ugh. 
Time is weird, man. Anyways, let me continue my story. So they, he was playing Ratchet and Clank, and we were like, whoa, that's cool, that's awesome. And then it just blossomed from there. We now are like Ratchet and Clank buffs. But yeah, adding on to the babysitter story. That guy just killed his own buddy. As you know, I was like two or three at the time. It came out in 2002, so most likely I was three. I, um, there's two embarrassing things that are hilarious. For one, I did not, I did not like using the bathroom at other people's houses. And so, as a three-year-old, I had to use the bathroom. I'm talking, I'm not talking about peeing. Peeing is fine. I can do that outside. I, I had to use the bathroom <laughs> and I was like, I'm not using the bathroom. No, it's no way. This is what I'm saying in my little three-year-old mind. There wasn't much going on, but that's what was going on. So basically, I messed myself. <laughs> uh, that was the last time, believe it or not. Little three-year-old Alec was over there squatting in a corner going, I won't use the toilet. You can't make me. So yeah, that happened. You know, you'd think the story would end there. So, I, as a three-year-old, had a very big mouth. I would say things. I would say what's on my mind. That's what I do now. I still do that. And so, my parents had to give me instructions. You know, don't do, don't say this. Don't say that. I was like, okay. I won't say it. And I didn't. You best believe I didn't say what they told me not to say. Kind of. So, they're like telling me, hey, Alec, this babysitter is a little overweight. Don't call her fat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over there like... Okay. Uh. So, my mom and dad come and pick me up. And my brother, he was with me, of course. They come to pick me up, pick us up. And they're having a conversation. We're there and, you know... Oh, how were they? Oh, they were great. Except your three-year-old was squatting in the corner earlier. And obviously, as a three-year-old, I'm like... I was so proud of myself. I didn't call her fat. And so me being a dummy, <laughs> me being a stupid kid, I bold face said straight to that woman, I said, and I didn't even call you fat. So she said, what? <laughs> I repeat it. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh. What are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Not assassins. Oh, nice. You can do it, Quark. You can do it. Come on, you're my hero! I need a hero! Has this ever happened to you? Yeah. Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stirring down a blargy and snaggle. If it's a euphemism for having to use the bathroom in your pants. And knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, oh, Al? Yeah. My you man Al. Said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic! Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really 74. sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we have My brother's a ship. home! Uh, what? Uh, a ship? He's been what? home for five minutes. You're not Go. going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I, I could arrange my best friend. to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. Press the select button to bring up the map. Your ship is marked with a star. Or I can just click the R3 button. It's much easier. Or the L3. Oh, just kidding. That doesn't work. All right. That was everything in my notes. So I'm going to end the video there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. We got through the whole map. It's all yellow. All right. Let's go to the star. That's our objective. Wait, no. The star is a ship. Yeah. And our objective is a question mark. Nice.
Let's go! Get in! All right, so we got Outpost Aridia and Metropolis Karwan. So we can... Here's the thing. Outpost Aridia, you have to have something that you get in Metropolis. So do we go to Metropolis or Outpost Aridia? I say we go to Outpost number 11. Aridia. And then we end episode when we can't do anything else. Sound good? Cool. Let's do it. Planet Iridia, outpost number 11. Missions, locate Skid McMarks. Find Skid's agent. My dad is hammering through my wall right now. I'm not even kidding either. And there's, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many? One of three gold bolts. I'm actually gonna find all the gold bolts. I'm gonna buy every single weapon. I'm gonna get the rhino. It's gonna be hard, but you are worth it. Gold bolts found, zero four. Planet Iridia looks nasty. Let's go, blast off. Got a blast! Woo! We're here. Let's go. Whoa, there's a planet up. Whoa, there's a couple planets off in the distance. I never noticed that before. Sometimes you just gotta stop and sniff the flowers. So this is Gadgetron. Gadgetron, say hello. I got some great bargains for you today. That's not hello. That's not the worm. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the Pyrociter. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna go this way. Hello, sir. How you doing? Is your name Skid? It's I believe him. it is. Skid McMarks. That man from the Infobot. In the flesh, little dude. Little dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in? We saw you screaming for help. <laughs> uh, that was like a war cry. My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. Did he survive the crash, sir? Yeah, he's okay, but. I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Ah, oh, yes. Come on. If you can take out all Liar. the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMarks, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... <laughs> His face, One of man. One boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that foot elevated. Wait a minute. Why is Skid so tall? He is not this tall in future games. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we'll take care of your little sand shark problem, me guy. Death, 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 death. Use the parasiter. Hold down the circle button. I don't want to hold it down. That's a waste of ammo. All right. Wall. <laughs> oh. Get pyrocinated. Pyrocited? That's fun. I enjoy burning things. Boing bong, boing bong. Oh, hello. I must have missed you. Oh, he's dead. Here, man. Catch. Thanks, bro. A brand new Z3000. Thank you, Skid McLarge. Well, I got a bail. Gets you dudes at the hoverboard races. No, you won't. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City. Thanks, lady. Ooh, an elevator. Thanks, man. He looks like he has a big old red grenade on his back. I'm gonna kill him. You shouldn't have messed with me, bro. Red grenades are my trigger. Boom! <laughs> I like explosions. And this is where you will need a Gadgetron Swingshot to traverse this area. Our records indicate that the Swingshot is not available on this planet. Yeah, what she said. But we'll just continue on from here for now. For later. <laughs> Death. Oh, that was bummer. Oh, well, there was an out right there. You suck. You gotta lose weight. Ratchet. Oh, yeah! Blow it up, please. Wee! Ah! Camera? Sand sharks. I tried mixing the two words together. I just, I just came out with sharks again. He blew himself up. 
How did that not blow that up? Unsatisfying. Hiya! Oh. Hiya! Dude, chill. It's just the it's just chocolate. No signal whatsoever! No signal! This time is killing me! Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son! The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star Don't client is nowhere so to be found! Hey! We saw you on that info bot! You're Skid's agent! Was Skid's agent! I haven't seen him since our ship crashed! And an agent without a client is like a flea without a dog! And we're not gonna tell Say, him. Say, you look like an athletic kid. If you can bring back the championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City, I'll make you my next star. We have no time for trivial matters, sir. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMarks. <laughs> All right, we'll come back with a hoverboard thingy, and um, yeah. Wait, there's mechanical things here? Did I know that? I think I did. All right, here's the map. There's a the location we cannot get to. We have to come back with something. So all we have left to do now is just go back to the ship. Hello. Hello. All right, cool. So yeah, we did everything we can do here. Let's go back. Let's go to Metropolis now and end the episode. Get in. Planet Kurt One, Metropolis. Visit Al's RoboShack. Gold bolts found. Zero of three. Planet looks like a Star Wars planet. I don't know what that means, but it does. Got a blast! Woo! The planet is so gray, but yet so green here. I don't know how that makes sense. Okay, gamers. We're gonna end the episode there. I know I didn't play much today. I'm just giving you a, a kind of a bite. Next episode will be a little bit longer. Okay, gamers. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.